amazing job at this tournament. They, they really are, have put a lot of time and a, and a lot of effort into making it an, an event and showcasing these great athletes. Very cool town. It's got, it's mixed. When we were walking back last night, it's mix of, of you know, metropolitan, cosmopolitan, and then it's mix of old world, you know, Norwegian. Uh, it's been a fun place. They are anticipating a sellout crowd as we move closer to the Greco-Roman competition, the sport's most ancient form of wrestling, but they love it here in Norway, and it's going to be a full house for the weekend ahead. I was told the king is going to be here. Yeah, might make a couple of appearances yeah. Wednesday and, and possibly over the weekend as well. Georgia in the red with Kinchadze, the U23 world champ from a few years ago, matched up against the young Iranian star in uh, Nokodil Arimi. U23 world runner-up. He's had a number of accolades in the U23 and junior circuit, and, and you brought up a good point, Brian. Very quietly, Iran has just been loading up with all of this young talent and it is on full display. This is like they're coming out party tonight. Two more on the edge of the mat. Kim Chadze looking to take him through, and he does expose the back with a nice chest wrap, able to roll Arimi through. Nicely done. We're a little late giving the initial two to Noko Dil Arimi. Kinchadze with the counter on the exposure. So we're tied at two. Good start to this one. A little more than a minute in. Imagine that. A tight match for the Iranians. And all, all day today, they've been winning these tight ones. We'll see what, what happens for the rest. Pretty good claw mark on the left shoulder of Nokodil Arimi. So they are going to stop the match. You can see the scratches on his left shoulder just beyond the singlet. So they're going to come out, put a quick Ooh. patchwork on him. Holy smokes. That's a... That's a pretty good war score right there. It is. Some of those wounds, though, there's there's not a lot of blood. It's just an exposure wound. Surface. I wouldn't want to see the inside of Kinchadze's and <laughs> nails there. No. Sure, there's still some flesh underneath. 2-2 <laughs> two, two our score. Little pass by and two. Nicely done by Nokodil Arimi. And the hand fighting that they're doing and the, the motion, they're creating that motion, getting weight to the hands or weight to the feet, and making, uh, making their attacks pay off. We watched Nika Kinchadze this past summer in Warsaw. Had a near miss. Looked like he was in line to maybe capture his first European title. Ended up with the bronze. Battle back in his bronze medal match. Very quietly, Georgia sitting in the number four spot. And in our other semifinal match, Yoshida of Japan, Burroughs of the United States. It's one to one. Crowd didn't like fingers to the eye by Kinchadze. He was using his fingers well here as he, with the scratch and the poke in the eye. I don't think any of them are purposeful. But it's, uh, it's a tough sport. Great snap down by Kinchadze as he trades to create a corner. But Nukodil Arimi able to spin out in front. The change in direction that the Iranians have, uh, that we've been seeing in this round, with their snap buys, their shuck buys, their pushes and their pulls. Yeah, they can hit you a lot of different ways. So a great motion. 15 seconds to go, entertaining first period. Arimi with a four to two lead over Kinchadze in semifinal number one at the 79 kilo division. It's a tie 1-1 score over on the other semi with Burroughs and uh, Yoshida. A lot of anticipation with the American Jordan Burroughs making his 10th world and Olympic team for the U.S., but for the first time at a new weight at 79 kilos. And he must have just been a humongous 74 kilos because he looks big at 79. And he talked about how this really feels natural for him, so much easier not having to cut weight. and. 
as we keep an eye on that match, the patented Burrow, Burrow double, and Jordan Burrows grabs his first lead late in the first period. So Burrows leading three to one. You see it in the backdrop as the Iranian makes his way back to the center of the ring with uh, Nokodil Arimi on top, 4-2. The officials telling both of them, let's watch our hands fight, let's watch where we're going with our fingers, make sure uh, that they're keeping it clean out here. Nice digging on a right-handed underhook. Yeah, no big deal, Arimi. Yeah, he had a purpose with the right underhook. He wanted to plant that puppy, just could not get it in there. Kinchadze, a little stationary right now, forehead to forehead. Likes to work off that two-on-one. Has the elbow control. Can't free up his right wrist though. Now he does. Leans in. Nearly got caught too far out in front. Little countered shot by Nokodila Rimi. Again, Kinchadze just relentless on that Russian top. The limp arm position that the Iranian just did when he pushed, he pulled, he swung his arm out and was almost able to score on Kinchadze. The official doesn't is, is warning him again. Make sure those hands are, you know, you're not grasping fingers. You're not grasping the singlet. You're not scratching. You're not poking. And that's one thing the Islamic Republic of Iran is really good at. As well as being great wrestlers, they know how to work the official too. We have not seen the referee get involved with a uh, passivity call in this one. Both wrestlers have dictated the action, which you love to see. Absolutely. And when, you, when it's not zero to zero in that first period, it, they usually put their whistle away unless it's at the end of a match when there is a passivity position. If you're Georgia here, from what you've seen, what's it going to take for Kinchadze to get this two? He's going to have to put two and three holds together. Uh, you know, Nokadil Arimi is, is great at moving his feet and, and stopping that initial shot. So he's going to need to, you know, fake get to a first shot, get to a second shot, and then look to score. Because one and done is not working for him. And just for the final 60 seconds, watch the footwork of Nokodila Reem. I mean, he just disappears when it looks like you have him in your grasp, he's gone. And, and as, he's looking to pounce on the counter. Yep, and as a coach, I call that a boneless chicken too. <laughs> Sometimes it's almost like there's no bones there. His, his, he limps his arm out, he moves his feet really well, he moves out of the way quick as a cat. Kinchadze trying to circle, circle, and circle, and he does. So he gets the two to tie it up. Immediately drops down to the lower half, tries to trap the leg and get it elevated, reaches for that second ankle. He has the tiebreaker with the last two. Right, and, and yet again, 30 seconds to go, tie score. We'll see what kind of presence that Nokadil Arimi has. It's almost the same script as last match. He has Kinchadze where he wants him, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you thought you had this? Well, watch this. This is gonna be fun. The final 25 seconds. Iran looking to go three for three. Close to getting the point. Near the edge, Kinchadze out of bounds, grounded. No point awarded. And the, the referee is going to go over and have a discussion with the judge. We did have a white paddle by the Matt judge. Uh, the Matt chairman is bringing him over now to, to say, what did you see? So, Brian, what are they looking for with the grounded position? So he was pushing to the edge of the mat, and he dropped down to both knees. He didn't, he grounded himself. He wasn't started in, in the ground position. So in order to stay away from giving out the step out, he dropped to both knees and they gave the point there, which I actually think is the right call. He dropped down to his knees on his way out, so maybe it could have been a pass or caution in one, and they did. They gave it a caution in one. They said he was fleeing when he dropped the both knees, and imagine that, 19 seconds to go, it's five to four, and Iran found a way to score. Kinchadze over near the uh, Georgia corner, a conversation whether they wanted to challenge that. But yeah, they, but if they challenge that, that's not always a great thing either. Exactly. Because then if you don't win the challenge, you you're down your two. You lose your point, and then you need the two. And I think Georgia is going to challenge. Yeah, I think I think it was the right call. He dropped down on the way back, backing up. He worked the edge of the mat and then jumped to both knees. 
Let's see if we can see that on the big screen here. Working to the edge. Nokadil Arimi. Watch, he's almost to the edge, and now he drops straight down to both knees, and his toe went out. His foot went out before the knees hit. That's a step out. You see the big jumbotron overhead, Brian watching it as they replayed it for us up there, and that's what the wrestlers are keeping an eye on as well, and <laughs> it is a sport of inches. We have said that time and time again throughout the years. You, you get to this stage, well, there's just no margin for error. I mean, the success and the talents that these wrestlers have and the differences are so marginal. And, and you know, again, a, a, of inches, they called him for fleeing the mat. He backed to the edge of the mat where he dropped down. I think it's the right call. That's why the caution is up in the corner as well for Kinchadze. Challenge is one. So they have reached the decision. So no caution, but they gave one point for the step out. So if he pushes him to the edge and he has the point, he wins on criteria. So no fleeing the mat, just to clear it up. There is no fleeing the mat, just the one step out point. The step out does not carry a caution. So that's why the challenge was won. Right. So a 5-4 lead, 19 seconds to go. Airborne, but grounded quickly. Now Kinchadze stepped out of bounds. Boy, a little careless there with 14 Just seconds. Pushed straight in, and almost like uh, Iran said, ole, and he was the bullfighter, getting him out of the way. Kinchadze running out of time. Six seconds to go. Dancing around Nokodila Arimi. They'll give one to Kinchadze. Six five, that's a caution. Again, airborne, not happening. Iran, celebrate, you're three for three. An amazing, amazing start to this Sunday night session. They found a way to win each match. None of them were locks. They found a way. Very vocal official 